Hey, Captain Nito, let's talk Whirlwind. Whirlwind is a little bit creative and original. You've got one dude, one dude and his vein crystal against the world. And the world in this case being five other players whose only job is to destroy that dude's vein crystal. You've got only a few minutes to pull this off. Uh, and if he survives the, by the end of the, the, the timer, then uh, guess what? You guys lose, all five of you. And uh, if you manage to destroy his vein crystal, then guess what? You guys win. So how do you really play in Whirlwind? So it would seem like the best strategy in Whirlwind when you are the tornado is that you want to just run into the into the enemy team and you want to just smash them all over the place and and try and, and and body block them from from destroying your vein crystal and that does work but keep in mind you're not invincible and if you die you're going to be down for a few precious seconds while your vein crystal in the middle of the map is going to be completely exposed so you kind of kind of think about how you want to play it the best strategy when you're the tornado is actually to balance the damage that the vein crystal is taking and the damage you are taking such that neither one of you quite dies. If you're lucky, by the time that timer hits zero, you're down to maybe 10% of your health and your vein crystal is down to 10% of your health. That's a good tornado. That means that you balanced absorbing damage from the enemy team and backing off a little, letting the vein crystal take a little pressure when you are about to die too. So you have to watch your health. If you just go mad dog in there every time, boom, you will eventually get destroyed and you'll be down for a few seconds and your vein crystal is going to get, I mean, just going to be completely knocked out of the park. So balance the damage. Step one, when you're opposing the tornado, you want to figure out whether or not your team's strategy is to completely destroy the tornado or to completely destroy the vein crystal. And you can play it either way. If you want to destroy the tornado, all five of you should spend every bullet you have because you don't have a lot of time on killing the tornado. Why? Because then you get that gap of a few seconds where the vein crystal is exposed. Now, if you don't want to do that, or if you guys feel like you're ranged, like you're playing on as snipers, there's a lot of distance for tor the tornado to cover, that's great. Then you guys can actually step back. Don't focus on the tornado. Never spend a single shot that hits it. Every point of damage you want to hit that vein crystal. That's your best chance of succeeding. So you've got to figure out that strategy quickly. If you see your team is dogpiling the tornado, jump right in. Because if you guys divide your damage, the tornado will win. All right, last tip. When you're playing as a tornado, when you hit a player, you get a small speed boost. So if you're lucky, come out of the brush, hit that first player, and it'll give you enough of a speed boost to chain yourself into bumping into every other player. And that's great because you can knock them back against away from your vein crystal, which you want to protect. But even more so, as a tornado, you still have boots. And these boots are amazing. If you hit the players while you're under the effects of your speed boost from your boots, you throw them three times as far. Three times as far. So your best strategy as a tornado, start in the brush, boots out, hit the first dude, use that speed boost to chain yourself, bunk, 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 through all of his friends. That's the best way you can get every single one of them. A little bit of damage, a little bit of team fight, and next thing you know, your vein crystal is sitting pretty. All right, I'm Captain Nito. Good luck out there.